Welcome to this introduction on how to migrate layer protection analysis in Excel format into Bowtie XP. We start with a familiar example from the CCPS LOPA book, which has been converted into a portrait format. And here we have a single threat leading to a single consequence. In the spreadsheet, we have separate tabs or separate sheets for each LOPA scenario. And we've created some customized Visual Basic or a macro that reformats the data from each LOPA tab into a format that Bowtie XP can import and recognize. So we open up Bowtie XP, we have a familiar screen. Normally you'll have a, a typical hazard um, to start the diagram, but here we've deleted that. But in order to do the migration, firstly, you have to have advanced, which has the scrapbook functionality. But secondly, you need to have the LOPA um, license to do the calculation. So you simply go to the uh, scrapbook and open the data source file icon. And from there, you'll go to the location of your Excel file. And the Excel file has to be closed. It can't import when it's open. You'll find that it will import uh, tabs, which are the LOPA worksheets. Um, you don't want to delete them because that's part of your analysis. They will appear in the import, but they don't necessarily form part of the migration. And you can either ignore them or you can delete them. If you delete them, simply a case of right clicking and deleting. Um, in this case, the diagram has been collapsed. So you're left with, in this case, four LOPA scenarios becoming four hazards or four bow ties that will migrate into the tree view. And it's simply a case of dragging those hazards into the view and they will appear in the hierarchy. Once they're in the hierarchy, you may have to customize your display profile to show the appropriate data. But here you can see the initiating events, IPLs and safeguards, conditional modifiers, consequences, the appropriate frequencies and probabilities, and actions shown as post-its. The actions can be shown in the overview, and from there you could export them to Excel via this icon. And if you wanted to do further management or analysis, this is an ideal way to do it. The alternative option is a landscape format. So this is an example from the Health and Safety Laboratory or the Health and Safety Executive. It's purely a sample. Um, but in this case here, you've got multiple threats and each threat has the potential to have distinct IPLs. They will all have the same conditional modifiers, but they can have distinct IPLs. So again, each LOPA scenario is documented on a separate tab in the worksheet. We've created a slightly different macro in this case, but the principle is the same, reformatting the data to give a format that Bowtie XP will recognize. And again, with the previous example, the LOPA tabs will be imported. They don't form part of the migration you can either delete them or you can just ignore them. Once you're left with your LOPA scenarios, these will appear as hazards in the scrapbook. You simply drag those hazards across into the group view. And again, depending on your display profile, you'll now see the familiar LOPA elements. You'll have your threats as initiating events, your barriers as IPLs, or safeguards, your conditional modifiers, your consequences, and the 
calculations, which in this case are done with and without safety instrumented functions to determine if you can meet your target risk. Here we've got the overview of the hazard register. And again, like all the overviews, you can export that through the Excel icon at the top. Here we have the barrier register, a really useful overview. Firstly, it tells you how the barriers have been, or the IPLs or conditional modifiers have been categorized, and perhaps there are some that are not consistently categorized, but also it shows you how many times each barrier has been deployed. So if in this case you're using the basic process control system multiple times, then that's obviously a key um, IPL that you need to manage and monitor. I hope this has been of interest to you. Um, we look forward to any questions. Uh, more details are on the website and the link is on the page. Thank you.